Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to be testing a couple of graphics cards. Uh, I have one that was in overclock mode. There's a little switch on it. Um, it was crashing the system. But I want to find out if that's what was actually causing it or is there something wrong with the computer. So first I have it in a different system. We're going to try it with that, see what happens. We're going to try my system that was crashing with a different graphics card. It's just a GTX 1080, not very demanding. So the first thing we're going to do is go to my old system. Uh, we're going to fire it up. We're going to run the same game in all three systems and test. First off, does it shut down when I run it on that one? Does it shut down on my test bench? And ultimately find out what's going on. Here we go. Okay, so I'm starting up Uncharted Legacy of Thieves. This is going to be the first test with my old system before I upgraded. To see if the 1080 will work on it, which I know it will. But see, more importantly, does my system shut down loading this particular game? Because that's what's happened in the past. So we're just going to start the game up. It would not run on here hardly at all. So we're just going to start it up and see what happens. I suspect it may run fine. But we're going to find out. If it runs fine with the GTX 1080... Okay, then I know it's more likely the card that was in it before and not the system. If it shuts down, then my thought is going toward the fact that I haven't updated the BIOS and likely that needs to be done. So if it does, we'll move on and we'll do that. By the way, if you see that little reflection, that's the computer sitting off to the left that you can't really see, but you can see in the reflection. So, so we're going to wait, see what happens here. And, uh, yeah, we'll come back. Okay, so right now, it is working. Um, kind of thought it would. So, I guess that means my system is fine. We're just going to... It's definitely not the same output as I would get off of a uh, 4K graphics card. And so, anyway, the nice thing is... It's working, it's not crashing my system. So we're going to go to another computer with the graphics card that was causing the system to crash and see what happens to it. Okay, so this is the graphics card I had before. I've switched it from overclocking uh, to performance. It's the 6700X and the XT. And uh, we're going to start up the program on this machine and see what happens on it. Okay, so I've got the same game up here again. Now we're going to play it, just starting it up. Because that's all it took before, just starting the game. Uh, and it would crash. So we're going to click on this. Thieves in. Story. And continue. Hey Sam, you don't mind me asking. Okay, so it at least started up. Obviously better graphics. We'll play it for a little bit and see what happens. Check out books for the library for me. What would you read? History? Uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know? Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? So we're going to put it through its paces a little bit more than we did last time. Okay, so if you played this game and you couldn't get up here, now you know how. So let's just have a look. And so far I'm not seeing anything worthwhile of having come up here, but it is taxing it. It should be working, so let's just do something. Something that puts a little more... more Let's do something that puts a little more load on the system. Oh, you know what? It opened this up. Okay. So. Maybe it was worth coming in here after all. Mm, no, I don't need that. Don't want that. What do we got here? See? You would have missed the treasure is it's working i'm not having any issues 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that graphics card off of this test bench. I'm going to put it into the other computer that, for whatever reason, it was crashing before. I'm not going to start it up, get back into the game, and see what happens. And at that point, if it crashes, well, then we'll know for certain that it's the graphics card. Here you can see the 6700 XT running here now. Over, It's not in overclock mode. Uh, and we're going to see if our game actually plays. So let's move over here and see what happens. And more importantly, will it shut my system down? I hope not, but we're going to find out. Okay, we'll start the same thing again. Thieves in and story. We're going to start right at the same spot as before. As soon as I put any kind of load with this graphics card in this system, it shut down before because it was in overclock mode. Now that it's just in performance, hopefully it won't do that and everything will work and I can continue to use it. But then the question will become, why did it do it in overclock mode? That I don't know. That will be something I'll have to figure out for another video. But I will get back to you on that. In fact, I'll put it in the description of this video when I finally figure that out. But for now, let's just see if it actually works or not. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing again and just see what happens. Exit. Hopefully I can do the same thing as I did a minute ago. Jump up on the hood of the car. Oops. Okay, so we're going to blow that up for sure. Because that gives me my opening to get inside. And why not? Just in case it does something too. Now it's revving up a little more than it did before. So let me see here. Where have I got? Okay, so I'm just going to drop down. All right. Again, don't forget to look around. We have our little treasure probably would have been there, but we've already been inside, so it's gone. Can I open the door yet? Nope. And... I wonder if I can blow that up. I should try. Yeah. So far, so good. And, uh... And everything's working fine. Do this real quick. That should put a little bit more load, but doesn't seem to be making much difference. So bottom line is working. Because that alone before would shut my system down. And it should, obviously. So overclock mode. Turn that on, I'm pretty sure it's going to do it. So basically I've determined that my graphics card does work. Why it didn't work in overclock mode, I'm not sure. So if you have that problem, switch it from the overclock mode into performance, and you should be okay. That way you're not sitting there with a graphics card you can't use, you probably spent a lot of money on, given everything prices today. So just to do one further test, when this game starts up, there's like a boat riding... Uh, shooting, all that kind of stuff. So it's fast action. So I'm going to do that just to put one a lot more stress on the system and see what happens. So we're going to do that just as a further test and see see what we get. Yeah, we'll start with... Uh, actually, I'm supposed to start from the beginning, so let's start here. So let's hopefully it starts from the beginning. And we'll see where we're at. I am a man of, I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. Henry Avery. That's uh, one of the main uh, things they talk about in the game. So it's going to start off with a whole lot of action. Let's see what happens.
And my system was not able to take this before, so that's why I want to run it one more time. to accelerate all right we're accelerating now see the artifacting on the screen that's the graphics card okay so while well, it may work um yeah it's not working great and so i think that will probably wind up causing my system to crash so the graphics card not the system the graphics card just can't handle it Yeah. Oh, but it's not shutting down. Oh, I can't, uh, I definitely can't take that one out. This would have shut the system down before, though. So just by uh, doing it this way, it works, apparently. So I don't think it's going to continue to do that. Once we get out of some of the more intense parts of the game, it'll probably be fine. Okay, well, I mean, it's not perfect. But like I say, at least I let you use it. So that's the main feature, that's the main thing is just being able to use it. Alright, so at this point, basically that's all I can figure out is that in the overclock mode, it was taxing the graphics card itself too much. And because it obviously has some sort of issue, it shut itself down. So putting it into performance, still runs really good. But as you saw on the screen, those flashes of white, that will probably continue. Now, that could be an overheating issue. So you can take the card apart. I don't recommend that, but at this point, what do you got to lose maybe? Uh, but if you can continue to use it, maybe do that. And if it gets really bad, then you might want to have to think about taking it apart, replacing the thermal pads, replacing the paste, Putting it back together, provided you're able to do that on your own. If not, seek assistance. Because um, you don't want to completely destroy it. Unless you just want to give it a go and see what happens. And I suspect once I do that, because there's no artifacting. If you get artifacting, then chances are there's no repairing it. But if that's possibly an overheating problem, you likely can fix it. All right. I've torn uh, graphics cards apart before. The 6700 XT works great, but I think it might be on the warranty too, but uh, I'll have to check that out. 6800 XT, I am getting artifacting, which is the pixelation you get across the screen. But once you get that, generally speaking, there's no fixing it. You can replace the thermal pads, you can replace the paste, put it all back together, and you'll probably still have the same problem or worse. All right, so just something to be aware of. So anyway, that's it in the video. I will get back to you. Uh, I'll put some notes in the description if I find out more. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to test that out. A couple of different systems. It uh, seemed to work in the other one, but I didn't do that first scene. The first scene has got a lot more going on. So that's become my test for graphics cards these days. Start Legacy of Thieves at the very beginning like a new game. If it passes all that perfectly, you're good to go. If it doesn't, it's going to point out errors with your graphics card right off the bat. Now, the potential is there could be uh, a BIOS issue going on. I don't think so, but it's possible. So I'm going to wind up updating the BIOS and I'll try it again. If that works, then you'll see another video. And I'll show you updating the BIOS. And I'll show you the graphics card working better. But obviously, if that doesn't work, you'll just see a BIOS update 
and I'll just mention it in there that it didn't help anything else. All right. So anyway, that's the video. If you like it, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, what you want to see. Uh, I don't get a lot of that, so please leave me some comments of what you would like to see um, or what you want me to test out or whatever. And uh, if you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications as videos as they, as they come up. I'll get it out here. Bell for notifications for videos as they come up. There we go. And uh, yeah, appreciate your watching. Appreciate you just taking the interest. And uh, we'll be back next time with something a little bit more interesting. I have a new uh, Intel motherboard. We're going to see what it's all about. And uh, yeah, just check it out. So thanks for watching. See you next time.